Hey, what's up everybody? Heaven Starcraft here. And today I want to talk about how I put together the animated content uh, that you guys may have seen in my stream or on my YouTube videos. And this is a question that I get asked uh, very often. People are always asking me like, hey, how'd you, how'd you make this or whatever? And usually I give them the, the vague non-descriptive response of like, oh, I put it together using Blender. But that's not super helpful if you want to learn how to actually do it. And for my, uh, at least in my opinion, the stuff that I've seen on YouTube, the guides are extremely overly complicated, long, and that can be a bit daunting in itself. So what I want to do is just create a real simple, fast uh, explain, uh, explanation as to how to import um, StarCraft content into your animation software of choice. Okay, so to do this, you're going to need three pieces of software, and the great news is they're they're all free. And I'm going to include a link to each of them in the description below. Uh, but to start, you're going to need Blender. Um, if you want to work with a different piece of animation software, you can. Uh, but you'll need to start with Blender and basically extract it uh, into whatever you want to work with. Two, you're going to need the M3 add-on for Blender. Essentially what this is, is it's a plugin that will allow Blender to read .m3 files, which is the file container that StarCraft uses for the models. And then three, you're gonna need Latex Cast Viewer, which is a file viewer. Essentially, it will allow you to open the StarCraft II engine and pull out any piece of information that you want from there, whether it be a texture, a model, a sound clip, um, animation data, literally every single thing that they use to make the game that the game works off of you can extract which is super cool so i'm going to start by quickly installing the m3 add-on uh, into blender it's very simple as how to do this all you need to do is download the zip file that is uh, in the description drag it down to wherever you want you know i'm going to put it on my desktop here uh, and then you open up Blender, go to Preferences, Add-ons, uh, hit Install, and then select that zip file. And it's literally as simple as that. Super easy. Once you have the M3 add-on for Blender installed, we can go ahead and open up Latex Cast View, and let's start by trying to import uh, a model. Okay, so once we have Latex Cast Storage open, we're going to go over here to File. We're going to go to open storage and we're going to select our StarCraft 2 folder. You can select different uh, Blizzard games to search those files if you want, but I'm just going to be doing StarCraft here. So I'm going to hit select folder once I have the main folder open and it should bring you to a screen like this. Now we have the ability to basically search any file in the StarCraft game that we want. So I'm going to be looking specifically for the three to models which are .m3. So I'm going to just kind of keep it simple. We're going to look for a character that we all may be familiar with named Alarak. Now, when you search for specifics, you're going to want to put an asterisk in front of whatever you're searching and then an asterisk after. So for my model that I'm looking for, I'm going to type asterisk, Alarak, asterisk, .m3 after the asterisk you put the file type. And now... We're going to see a gigantic list. And the reason this list is gigantic is because there's more than one file named Alarak. There's a lot of files named Alarak. All of his different uh, things, whether it be his throne, his abilities, they all have his name in it. We're looking specifically for just Alarak. And thankfully, Blizzard has made it simple. The model that Alarak uses is just Alarak.m3. So we have found the model. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click the model. We're going to go to extract. And this is very important. When we extract the model, we're going to want to click this where it says extract plain name, ignore storage directory structures. This will just make it a lot easier to actually locate the file in your Explorer. And then we're going to figure out where we want to save it. I'm going to just go ahead and put it on my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder, Alarak. And we're going to hit select folder. Bam. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And we are done. Fantastic. Now we're going to go ahead and move over to, to Blender. So let's go ahead and close this. 
We'll come back to that later. But now that we're in Blender, let's go ahead and import the model. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go over here to import. I'm gonna select StarCraft 2 Model Animation M3, which should be present after you've installed the plugin. We're gonna go to our desktop, Alarak, Alarak.m3. And bam, look at that. We've got our model, except there's no textures. That bitch looked pink, which isn't great. Now by default, uh, Blender will also import some of the animation sequences. So you can use these. If you go over here to the right side of the screen, uh, you can hit uh, M3 animations. Uh, it's under your scene settings, excuse me. And if you go to M3 animation sequences, you can see there's a lot of different custom animations that Blizzard has made that you're able to use. But let's go ahead and start by texturing this guy. So I'm going to go over to the, the model itself. I'm going to go to the shading tab on Blender. And what's great is when you go to the shading tab, it'll tell you the, the names of the textures that you need. So I see that I need Alaric Spec, Emission, Diffuse, and then the Norm. So there's four different textures that I need to put on this model for him to look great. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy the, the texture name. I'm going to go back to Latex. Let's open StarCraft 2 again. We're going to go to search. Now this time we're looking for texture files. And texture files that Blizzard uses is .dds. So we're going to search specifically for Alarak DDS textures. I'm going to have this little underscore. And... <clears throat> You're going to see that there's a lot of textures that uh, that fall under this category. I'm kind of lazy, so I end up, a lot of the times, what I'll do is I'll just download everything because I don't feel like going through and looking for the specific individual ones. I think it's just easier if you just extract them all into the folder. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to Desktop, extract all the ones with the Alrock name, which, once again, it's totally unnecessary, but I don't really care that much. And obviously, you'll see I have a lot of extra textures here. Oh, this one's interesting. These are like UI. Um, but anyway, once I have located the folder, because we already have the file name, we can literally just click the folder and open image. And we're just going to do that for each of these different textures. Bam. Okay. We've got all of our textures on the main bottle. Um, now he does have these sort of different like little side blades that he uses. I'm sure you guys are familiar. I'm gonna actually get rid of these because I don't want him to have his blades out. So now we have the Alarak file. Uh, I mean the Alarak model specifically. Uh, now we have the Alarak model imported uh, into Blender and he's looking great. So, Let's build a scene. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put Alarak in some sort of scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him onto like a spaceship, basically. So I'm going to go back to Latex and we're going to search for the models for the spaceship from the Spear of a Dune. So I'm going to type in asterisk SM asterisk. That's going to bring up uh, any sort of story mode file. This is a very important um, tag. You should you should learn this because basically whenever you, you do this, you want to get the best models possible, right? You don't want to really use the in-game models. You want to use the stuff from like cinematics and shit. So SM will allow you to find those. And then I'm also going to type in bridge um, because we're looking for like the bridge from uh, the Spear of a Dune. And then I'm going to type dot M3 that's going to allow me to find the models like I was saying before. Now we can see there are quite a few different bridge files right here. Um, these are gonna be the ones that I'm looking for. I'm familiar with these already as I've used them before. Uh, so I'm just gonna extract them all. And once we've extracted them, we're gonna import them. So I'm gonna go to import.m3 and we have all of these different. Okay, cool. Now I've already uh, linked the textures, but what you would normally do 
You just like as we did with Alrac before, you would go to uh, the shader tab, you would search the texture name, and then you'd go into Latex, copy and paste, and then I like to delete the, the tag at the end, so instead of putting in the norm, just leave it blank because it will use the same opener for the emission and the diffuse and the, the norm and the spec. But I'm not going to bother with that. So now we have uh, this cool little ship scene. Uh, I'm going to delete some of the stuff because we're just looking to make a very simple shot. I'm just going to do like a single, so we don't really need everything here. Delete, delete, delete. And now let's go to the texture itself. Taldarim ships are not really yellow. So I'm going to change the, the base color by going to the diffuse tab. Let's do um, a hue and saturation slider. The, the, the better way to do this is definitely to, to take the image texture itself into like Photoshop or something like that and adjusting the file. But just because I'm lazy, I'm going to bypass that and just do a saturation slider. This is more of the color, that like pinkish red. And um, let's just copy this onto this as well. Oops, wrong one. All right, cool. So now we're looking at more of um, what we're familiar with. I'm going to create a floor now. I'm not going to really make this floor look very good. In fact, because we're just, I'm just planning on doing basically just a single shot. So I'm actually even just going to steal the texture, even though this is going to look really jank. Obviously, this is not how it would look, but I think for the purpose of what I'm doing, it's fine. So now I'm going to go over to my file. I mean, uh, my model. Let's turn him. Let's pose him. I'm going to raise the floor up. That's fine. Oops. We don't want to... We want to control the empty, not the armature itself. Camera. Uh, where's my camera file? And now it just comes down to lighting. So I'm going to start by going into cycles. Let's create an environment texture for our world. I'm just going to put some stars behind him. So I'm going to go here to uh, world settings, environment texture. And I'm going to just take a star file that I have already. Obviously, we're looking at a very dark screen now. So let's add some light. Uh, we can start by just adding a sun. This looks pretty flat and fucking ugly right now, though. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm just gonna start with like a little edge light, basically. I really love, like, just a really hard light behind my character. Let's crank this up. Mm, that's probably a bit too much. And if we get rid of the sun, you can kind of see what this is doing right now. You get really this cool, like, highlight behind. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a uh, key light. Oops. Just 3D moments, am I right? Let's get rid of the sun just so we can kind of see what we're doing. I'm also going to name these Edge, Key Light. Okay, it's starting to look pretty cool. Uh, and then I want to have some like red light, I think, coming up from the floor. So let's make this red. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. And um, 
I think I'm okay with this for the most part. Let's crank the key up a little bit more. Okay, that's too much. We can maybe give it a little bit of color. The white's a little boring. Mm, a little bit more blue and a little bit more white. Okay, that's pretty cool. And just like that, we have imported our model. We have uh, textured it. We have lit it. Uh, you can use the M3 animations if you want. You can also... Um, you, you can rig it yourself and do your own animations. You can use a program like Mixamo to import animations. Um, but just like that, we've created our little scene. And if we go ahead and just render this out... I think uh, I think it looks pretty uh, pretty fucking cool. I don't know. So yeah, that's how I uh, I make my stuff. If uh, anyone has any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'd be happy to um, you know address them. Just keep in mind, I'm not a fucking professional animator. I'm just a hobbyist. So you know, some of the stuff that you may have seen in this video so far is probably not the most efficient way to do things or the best way to do things. Uh, if you have suggestions or tips, I'm always, I'm all ears too. But uh, this is how I've been uh, making my stuff. So.